Hi guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about custom railing in Revit. And for example of custom railing I will be modeling this cool looking classical baluster type railing. Now this is popular these days and it's if implemented tastefully it can be quite nice on a facade or inside of a building. Now these classical balusters can be either out of wood or stone or it, they can be molded in concrete or whatever and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model something like this inside of Revit. I, I'll be first modeling the actual balusters and then the top and bottom railing profiles and then I'm going to jump into a project where I'm going to implement that as in railing. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make tutorials like this every day. So let's get started, let's first do the baluster family, so here I'm just going to go to families, new, and here the first one is metric baluster, and that's the one I'm going to be using, and it will be open up like this. Now this is the left view, and you can say, see here we have this angle for the stairs, and this is like the height for normal balusters and just for the height here it says 750 now this is in millimeters I'm just going to change the units to centimeters first because it's easier for something this size so this is 75 centimeters but let's say our balusters will be shorter maybe 60 centimeters so here I'm just going to change this railing for from baluster height of 75 to 60 and just go apply OK so this has changed, now let's start modeling. So first I'm going to be doing like the top, the base and like the top thing. So for that I'm going to be using extrusions, so I'm just going to go here extrusion. And for picking a work plane, now we're in left elevation. So just select here name, and just pick this center left right plane. And that means that's the one that's perpendicular to this view. So I'm just going to create a rectangle like this here. I'm going to select this, move this over here, and let's put this at 6 centimeters. Let's put this at 12 then. Oops, 12. Okay, so we have that, and for the height, let's go with 5 centimeters, and let's finish. Now, let's do the same thing down here, or we can just copy this, but let's do the same extrusion here. So, extrusion, name, center left, right and let's create another extrusion over here like so. Now we can use the align tool to align these sides to this, maybe lock it in place, same thing here, lock it in place, and for this height let's do 5 as well. Now just hit finish, and now let's go to the front view, and if you can't see your geometry just type in ZA for zoom all, and now you can see it. So I'm just going to select these two and you can see the extrusion end is at 25 centimeters and extrusion starts from this line here. So I'm just going to change this from minus, from 6, extrusion end at 6 and extrusion start at minus 6. So it will be 12 by 12 as we have in our left view. So let's go back in left view and now let's create the actual baluster. So I'm going to go here to create, I'm going to choose revolve and again same work plane, center left right, because we're in left elevation, and just go OK. And now let's do the boundary lines. So I'm just going to start over here, something like this, maybe like that, perhaps like this. Now let's change to arc. Now I'm kind of freestyling this part. If you have any particular baluster you want to do, you can probably import an image here. But I'm just going to do it like this, maybe. Let's extend it a bit here, let's do an arc here, and let's just finish it over here. So I'm just going to finish it here and go all the way up. So this is finished, now let's put this axis line, and I'm just going to be using the pick lines tool and pick this center line, and just hit finish, and here we go. So we have our center baluster, and if we go into 3D it looks kind of like that. Now I suggest you use Join Geometry to join these things together. And then let's set the material, so I'm just going to select the whole thing by tapping the Tab key for a second. So I can select everything and let's change the material. Let's use some concrete for example, or perhaps even better stone. Let's go here stone and let's use this one. So I'm just going to go OK. 
and if we go into realistic it will kind of look like that stone it's it looks kind of fancy okay so we have our baluster family finished now let's do the railing so I'm going to go again into Revit start menu just go here to new family and when it opens up this dialog just kind of scroll down to find profile families so here we have metric profile we have host hosted Malian rail okay rail that's the one we want just open it up and here we have center line and we have rail top so the, for the top portion of the railing or for the top railing we're going to model it over here and for the bottom railing we're going to do a separate family that's modeled over here now it's all going to make sense in a second so don't worry so let's do something like this a rectangle and for this size let's do let's do 80 and for this 160 now this is in millimeters let's just skip to centimeters as well make sure to have the same units everywhere and this let's do six perhaps I don't know maybe yeah let's go create line let's fill it in edge perhaps like so at 2.5 let's do 2.5 here okay let's say that's what we want let's let's create some element here I don't know like this and mirror it to the other side and then just by using the splitting tool you can kind of split it like this okay so let's say this is a, the top railing we want so this is finished so let's just create a new family so just start menu new family and just find the same railing profile family and this will be the bottom family so I'm just going to go here to create line again the rectangle and first let's set the units so I'm just going to set the units to centimeters okay okay and for this let's go let's change this to that let's do 8 centimeters here as well and 16 here and now let's use the fillet edge even even here so just go line fillet and let's use the radius of I don't know something like 2 fillet like that okay so we have something that let's say we're okay with for this being the top railing and now let's start the project so inside of the project all of these elements come together so I'm going to go here to new project I'm going to choose architectural template go OK and first let's just set the units to centimeters so all the units correspond so just go centimeters OK OK and now let's go into railing but before we start changing the actual railing we need to load in these families we created now if I go here into close hidden windows you see all of these windows that we have here are just going to drop and we have family 1 family 2 family 3 and project 1 so it's kinda easier to navigate when you close all unnecessary windows so let's go to family 1 go load into project and close project 1 and of course we need to save the family so let's just save it at desktop and now I have to spell baluster let's hope I get it okay I think that's that's how you spell it go save now we're back in the project now let's open up family 2 this is the top railing so just go load into project and close project 1 save family let's call it top and let's do the same thing for the bottom profile so just go load into project and close save family and do bottom okay so all of our families are now loaded in our project so let's create our railing so just go here to railing and let's choose this 90, 900 millimeter to start off with and go edit type once you're in this type type properties menu here we have it and we can duplicate it and let's just call it classical I hope I spelled that right <laughs> okay so here I'm just going to go here for rail structure and just going to go edit and here I'm going to insert two new rails and first let's change the first one and go edit let's call it top and the second one let's call it bottom and for the profile let's load in here for the top top profile and for the bottom bottom profile 
and for the height the top profile will be and as you remember our railing is at 600 millimeters so the top one will be at 600 or point or 60 and this one the bottom one will be at let's say we have an offset you know the the bottom offset so let's just leave it at zero and here let's go for material let's go with stone go OK and let's just copy this and paste it over here so just control C control V to paste the material and go apply OK now let's go for ballast replacement open this menu up and here we need to change these balusters so first let's change this one and let's choose our baluster for host let's choose the bottom one and here top let's choose the top one so the, these are kind of the constraints for top offset let's leave it at that and distance from previous I'm just going to type in 30 centimeters now here we need to change justification to uh, spread pattern to fit I prefer using that this break pattern I'm going to each segment and leave it at that now here it offers us to use baluster per thread on stairs I'm just going to uncheck that I found that it kinda makes problems from time to time so I just prefer to leave it unchecked now here we need to add our baluster so just find baluster and again you can go control C to copy it and then just place it over here let's delete all of this place our baluster okay and for hosts for base just go bottom 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 and for top let's just go top 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 okay so we have all of this set up so now just go okay I think that's all of it go again here you need to for this rail type just go none we don't need it anymore because we've created kinda our own top and bottom railing and for the rest of them we don't need them either so just go OK and let's start drawing our railing so let's do something like this perhaps an angle here perhaps another angle here yeah let's do something like this OK so we have our railing let's go into 3D and let's hit finish and there you go so here we have our railing and if we go into realistic it kinda looks like that it's made out of stone and you can see we have our top profile and our bottom profile and they all look good maybe add some shadows yeah that looks quite cool actually okay so that's how you create kind of a classical railing with classical balusters in Revit thank you for watching I hope this was helpful Please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.